This has been an interesting time for me. A year ago, I was on vacation in Trinidad with my best friends, Lauren, Camille, and Sophie. They were there helping me get over a bad breakup. Now, things have changed. I've had to downsize my real estate company, but I've met the man of my dreams, and I'm sporting some new jewelry. That's right, a sister's getting married. Bam! You needed me? Oh, yes. Can you make copies of everything in this file and uh, send it over to the agent? You got it. Great. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't work too hard next week while I'm off getting married. Oh, so everything is finalized. Yeah, you know, we're having a small, simple ceremony, and there wasn't really much to plan. Once we decided it was Puerto Rico, we just picked a packet. I always thought you'd have a big, fancy wedding with lots of people. Yeah, you know what? Maybe when I was younger. But Garrett's really not into that kind of stuff. Plus, weddings can be expensive, and there's no reason to uh, spend all that money. I never heard you care about the cost of anything. Yeah, well, <laughs> things are different. Garrett and I are building our dream home we're adopting, so it's all about savings. Plus, my man's a stickler. <sighs> I always knew I liked him. <laughs> Wow. That's impressive. Hey, handsome. Hey. I just thought I'd come by because I know I wouldn't see you till tomorrow. Ah. Uh, mm, that's right. You're hanging out with the boys tonight? I am. You should admit it's a bachelor party. It's Definitely. not. It's, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's not a bachelor party. I'm telling you, it's just me hanging with the fellas because I know they're not going to be at the wedding. That's it. No strippers, no nonsense. There better not be any strippers. Uh, I heard from the adoption agency. Oh, you did? Yeah, and she said we should hear something right after the wedding. Oh, wow. We're really gonna have a baby. Yeah. It's been such a long process. I mean, we're so close, nothing is going to ruin it. No, nothing at all. And we're gonna buckle down and start planning, and you have a $20,000 credit card bill? Garrett, I am paying this off. Wow, well, you know the new cards we got. I'll clearly be handling that account. Here we go. Wow, babe, you really need to do a better job budgeting. I mean, it's not just you anymore, you know? And me being on a teacher's salary, I, I can't... I can't do this. I can't afford it. I know. And you can't keep spending thousands of dollars on things like this. It's not... Baby, this was a birthday present to myself. But I thought oh. the trip to South Beach was the birthday present to yourself. Well, yes. But I couldn't go to South Beach with an old bag. Hey. Come here. No more spending. Okay? Okay. Well, at least the wedding and the honeymoon are already paid for. So the bills, I will take care of my own bills. No, no, no. We will take care of our <sighs> bills. Okay, it's us now. This is a team sport. All right, can we stop talking about money? It's depressing. Okay, don't be depressed. You know, I don't care about any of these elaborate things. I just want to make sure that your life is filled with smiles and laughter <laughs> and love. I hope that's enough. It's more than enough. I've had a lifetime of fabulous things. But what I really want is real love. And now that I have you, I've got it going on. <laughs> yeah, Lola goes through at least 10 onesies a day. And I know you probably don't have enough, so I'm gonna drop off another diaper bag, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got you. You, you are aware that I have watched our daughter before, right? And she also has a dry spot at the top of her head. She has cradle cap. I put some ointment in her bag for that. Do not put Vaseline on her head. Oh, look, we're Are good. Are you writing this down? It's important. Everything's cool. This reminds me of when Jackson was little. You'd write me a list that was a mile long. You're right, and it took you until he was 10 years old to get the hang of it. Oh, I can't believe he's driving. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time we ran out of Pampers? 
and you put bounty on him? Look, the, the package said they was highly absorbent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're so crazy. Come on, don't you miss us. <laughs> oh, I do. I don't. No, I don't. I do not miss us, you Well, I miss us. I do. I miss you, Sophie. Now, I know I made some mistakes, but I think we need this. No, I, bad connection here. Sorry. I'm static, static. No. Mama says bye. Hey, Denise, did you get those prints for me? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Teresa, so my next two articles are in editing, and my next pitch is in your inbox. You know, for a freelance, you are really making a name for yourself. Well, thank you. You know, this whole thing is so surreal to me. I never imagined that my little blog would turn into a full-on writing career. And it's very fulfilling. So thank you. You earned it. Here. What's this? Your first four-page spread. We loved your wedding pitch. Ace this, and I'll push you as our next hire. Really? I would love a shot as a full-time writer. Well, let's see what you can do. In the meantime, blog, promote the magazine, be visible. Okay. The more popular you are, the more people look forward to reading your stuff, and we love our writers to have a following. You got it. Thank you. And, and have a good weekend. You too. Have fun next week. I will. Come back with some good stuff. Oh, I will. I hadn't seen all my girls in a while, so we decided to get together and catch up before we head down to Puerto Rico in a few days for my wedding. I did mention that I was getting married, right? Bam! <laughs> so, Garrett is having his bachelor party tonight. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Men are so prehistoric. I mean, no, that is sad, actually. I know. I never understood the point of partying with naked people before you get married. That's because you've never been married. Trust me, you will appreciate it later. Camille, I thought things were good with you and Calvin. Oh no, things are great with me and Calvin. Especially since I found my calling. You know, I think it's really important that you find something that you're passionate about. This writing thing for me, I think this is it. I completely agree. That's why I knew that I had to take my yoga and my meditation to the next level. And I would like to ask you about that. Why would you go halfway around the world to eat and pray? We do that at my house every night. Come on through. We'll pray with you. You know what? People mock what they do not understand. That is right. And I'm glad you took the time to focus on you. Thank you. You know, I have to say, ladies, though, I have had this, um, this laser-like clarity, you know, with no meat and no alcohol and no sex. No, no sex. sex. Really? Yes. Lauren is celibate. What? Yes. And I'm not going to do it again until I meet somebody that I really feel like I could be in a commitment with. Even if it takes a long time? You know what? Actually, I was celibate for a couple months. Yeah, but you were married. Yeah, and that's called holding out. <laughs> <laughs> Got me what I needed. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but hold on. You were being selfish. I am on a journey. Oh, and do you feel complete? Do you feel anything anymore down there? <laughs> you hush. <laughs> no, it's like um, mm, a jug fills up drop by drop. What'd she say? Uh, well, I think it's beautiful. I have never seen you more peaceful mm. and calm. It's beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Speaking of which, you are glowing. Yes. If I didn't know any better, I'd think somebody's getting a little something, something. No. <laughs> no, the only thing I'm getting is lack of sleep. Vicky's yeah. mm. right. You look amazing. I think it's freedom from an oppressive relationship. I think you could be pregnant. What? No way! What are you talking about? Don't ever say that again. Change the subject. When movies are out, geez, la 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 la. Okay, I, I have a question. Hmm. Is it weird that I'm having trouble writing my vows? Oh my God, no! 
Do you want me to write them for you? No. no. Wow. Really? So supportive, guys. Thanks. Why are you having trouble writing your vows? I don't know. I mean, I want them to be good, you know? Garrett is so romantic and genuine that his are going to be perfect. Vicky, it's not a competition. Yeah. Uh, hello, it's me you're talking about. Everything is competition. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, guys, I have a surprise announcement to make. What? You're pregnant. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so, every month, the writers over at Uptown Magazine pitch our editors a special story or whatever. So this month, I pitched a happily ever after story, and they absolutely loved it. Oh, that's great. Yes, thank you. So, mm -hmm. Vicky, we are going to feature your wedding in a four-page spread in our August edition. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, here we come! <laughs> This is it. We are getting married overlooking the ocean at sunset. Just us and nature. I was a little worried about it at first, but it's going to be nice, isn't it? Oh. Now, if this is what love is supposed to look like, you know, pure, unfiltered, exactly the way nature intended. No, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. It's just very rocky. It's a national landmark, Camille. His parents got married here. I mean, no, listen, we can totally make it work. I mean, I just thought you might have something a little m more different. That's all. But no biggie. Come on, let's go to the bar. Come on, come on. Pictures are going to be great at sunset. I think so, I think so. Biggie. Do not worry about Camille. Seriously, this is beautiful. <laughs> okay. Ladies, I am not drinking too much today. Oh, no. No, no, because it will make you bloated, and that won't be good for pictures, so no. No, no and stop interrupting me. I don't want to have a hangover in case the adoption agency calls tomorrow. Oh, okay. You know how particular they can be. Well, I'm not drinking either, so I got your back. Awesome. Here you are. Drinks for me and Sophie. <laughs> What's up? Who are you talking to? Just checking on the baby. What's up? Oh, okay. Well, you realize that we are going to have to rein Camille in on this whole wedding spread, right? Because you know how controlling and bossy she can be. Right. Okay, what's up? I just told you what's up. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. I just need to check on the baby. All right. That's all. Okay, I got you. You coming? Oh, no. Right behind you. All right. Okay, good. Cool. Thank you. I'll be right there. <clears throat> yes. How I'm not gonna say that again. This place is so beautiful, right? Gorgeous. <sighs> what time is it? Nine. Oh, I have to meet that wedding host upstairs in the terrace at ten. A wedding host? Yeah, it's like this free concierge that the hotel sets up that they send somebody to make sure everything runs smoothly. Mm, nice. Are you okay? 
Perez. So what are you blind or something? Excuse me, didn't you see the stop sign? Yeah, the stop sign is for you, not for me, Sophia Vigaro, the the guess the Garia, the You know who I'm talking about. Qué pantalones arrogantes americanos. Ustedes vienen aquí y piensan que pueden mandar simplemente porque son turistas, claro. Y para colmo, te metes en el mismo medio y saliste de la nada. You are not the only one who can speak Spanish. Say habla español, chica. Just get out of my way, lady. You just get out of my way, chica. Yes, yes, get out of my way. So muy feo, pero gato, pequeño más. Imagínate. Ah, sí, ah, ah, ah. But get him off, lady. Just... Zappos. Um... Ah. Pollo loco. A pollo loco, lady. Muy bien. Buenas noches. Gato. almost hit me with her car. She was probably putting on fake eyelashes or something. Sophie? Huh? You all right? No! I'm so mad! I mean, everybody knows that pedestrians have the right away. You can stop jogging now. Oh, yeah. Okay, Sophie. I'm glad you're okay, but we need to be upstairs in 30 minutes. Go take a shower or something. Good idea. I'm gonna do that. She's a mess. <laughs> uh, Lauren? Gracias. Yeah. While we're at the caterers, do you think you can call the agency and see if there's any other wedding venues? Vicky, why? Your place is beautiful. You do not have to impress Camille. It's not about Camille. I just feel like I should have a few more options. Please do this for me. Okay, I'll get on it. Yay. Get some footage of me. I need some for my social media well, campaign. Do it. Where's Just the camera part? Right here. Ha! <gasps> oh, that's her! Hi! 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 Nice to meet you. You're Vicky Holmes? Yes. Hi! Nice to meet you. Mari Nunez, your host. Oh, hi! That's the murderer! What? I don't know what you're talking about. You tried to kill me with your car. That's what I'm talking about. You're the jogger. Is that I'm a mess before I have my morning coffee, you know? Oh, no, girl, I'm the same that. way too! Exactly. I've hit a lot of people. Thank God everyone is safe, right? Yeah, yeah everybody's safe. We are great. all safe. Well, then, girls, shall we leave? Let's yes, let's it. go. Let's go! Okay, let's go. I can't wait to see Puerto Rico. Uh, what? Where are you going? Let's go? That's it? Sophie, you're fine, okay? You know, you really ought to consider yoga. It calms you. I don't like yoga. It's boring. I need something with some movement. All right, well, can we move you behind to the car? Because while they're at the caterer, you and I have to try and find another wedding venue. What? Why? My bad. Yeah, but do you really think you still just want to go with hors d'oeuvres? I mean, we're doing a whole blurb about food. We should do dinner. How much can I say about cheese and crackers? Come on, Vicky. She's right. Food is a very important part of the celebration. You should really take that into consideration. I totally agree, a hundred percent. Well, maybe we can do something a little nicer. I mean, it's not a lot of people, so the cost shouldn't be high. What are my choices? Well, we could do our traditional dishes. We could do some meat, like lamb or chicken. Or we could go with our seafood explosion. Wow, yes. Mwah, boom. Well, now you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, and maybe add a little caviar? Mmm, oh, caviar is good. I like it. Mm. Those wow. lobsters really pop in print. That's gonna look nice. Are you gonna make a rash decision just like that? Yeah, it's just food, yeah. And drink. Oh, champagne, of course. Of course. Oh, champagne is good. Mm. Take this away. Okay. Oh, please put that. Here we have our higher priced items. Oh, wow. Ah! Thank you. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Should we put everything on the same credit card? Uh, no. Let me give you another one. Oh, okay, so now you can choose mm. from these three. 
Oh, much better. Lauren just sent us some new venues. <gasps> Are you changing venues too? Uh, yeah, I just want a few options, you know. Which I think is smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the groom? Is he going to be involved? Uh, well, you know, he comes on Wednesday. The wedding's on Friday. We can't wait for him. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, I do too. I'm so glad I oh. told you to bring your wedding dress. We really need to see what it's going to look like mm -hmm. in that place. Which, it's going to be smashing. Wow. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> well, yes. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying I didn't love the other place, but this is stunning. Stunning is the exact word I would use. But you did. I used it. Why don't you find your own word to use? Guys, you know, it's original. It's fresh. I really don't think you can go wrong with this. So take some B-roll of me. Uh, uh, just milling about. Oh my god, this is amazing. What do you think, Lauren? Lauren! Huh? What? The place! Oh! Oh, yeah, it's 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 <gasps> nice. I mean, if this is what you want, Ricky. Marie! Marie! Oh, yes. It would look stunning in pictures. All right, well, let's just see if it's available this Friday. Oh, let me do the talking because I know Spanish. Since when? I've been speaking. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, señorita. Uh, nos gusta usted. Está usted in alquiler. Oh, God, I can't put this down. Como dijo? Está usted in alquiler. Pero ¿cómo se atreve a preguntarme algo así? Grosera, atrevida. Salga de aquí, por favor. Okay. Will you just tell her that we want to rent the place? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, look, eres tan bella. Uh, queremos a usted. Salga de aquí. Listen, Jim. Okay, okay, okay. No. Uh, fuera. Estás in alquiler. 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 Okay, stop saying that. Shh. Alquiler. Okay. Marie. Yes, I'm coming. Yes? Fuera. Can you just tell me you want to rent the place? Sure. Yes. Hola, ¿cómo está? Sí, dígame. Permiso. Mire, buen día. Es que a estas damas les gustaría saber si este lugar está en alquiler para este fin de semana para una boda. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. Un momento, por favor. Claro, cómo no. Muchas gracias. She said she... She'll be back in one minute. Un momento, I know what that means. Okay, maybe I should go. Yeah, maybe back. I should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mira, mi amor, hay tres locas allí, allí para vida. Yo no sé lo que quieren, pero puede ser que quieran alquilar okay, esa. Okay, okay, okay. Hola, señoritas. ¿En qué puedo ayudarles? Hola. Hola. Um, hi. Um, excuse me, but do you speak English? Yes. Oh, great. Is this place by any chance available this Friday? Judy Luck, we just had a cancellation. Oh, it's meant to be! I would agree with you, but it's Monday. How much setup will you need? I have to hire decorators oh, in advance. Oh, we can decorate. Oh, great. Yeah, we can do that. If you can do that, I'll make sure we have a full staff for Friday. Oh, well, it is perfect. Okay, well, I'm, I'm so excited. Aren't you guys excited? Why are you so excited? Um. Anyway, why don't uh, I'll stay here, I'll get the details, and then you go shoot some B-roll and practice your Spanish, and uh, you get your dress and look okay. fabulous over there. Okay, okay. ¿Y tú cómo te llamas? Um, me, me llamo... I'm Laurie. I'm Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. So what would you like to rent this space for? Oh, a wedding. Oh, you're getting married. What, me? No, oh, no, <laughs> no, uh, Vicky, the, the tall one. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you are single? Yes, yes, I am single. Me too. Oh, yeah, you're nice. So, what do you think? Hello? Why aren't you guys saying anything? Well, it's just the 
dress gets lost in the massiveness of everything. What do you mean it gets lost in the massive? Marie, what do you think? Personally, I love your dress. Well, I love your dress too. Um, I just think that it gets lost in all this space. It's, but of course I love your dress. Oh, but this villa looks amazing in photos. Oh, Look at that. beautiful. Right? Oh. Let's go inside to see if it looks better out there. Okay. <laughs> you know what, you guys? This feels right. I want it. Let's book it. Really? <laughs> Don't you want to get the cost first? Well, it's not like she can't afford it. Let's book it. Come on, come on, come on. I guess we're officially changing venues, huh? <laughs> yep. And is it okay that she's making all of these decisions by herself? She's not making decisions by herself. She's making them with us, her friends. <laughs> yes, but she's not marrying you guys. She's marrying Mr. Anderson. Well, nobody's marrying you, so why don't you just stay out of it? <laughs> I've been looking all over for you guys. What I miss? Vicky's book in the place. Nice. Yep. And Marie is nosy. You really have a problem with her, don't you? I just don't have a girl crush on her like you guys do. Well, she is just doing her job, so be nice. Whatever. You know why she can't stand Marie? No, why? Well, because she looks a lot like that chick that Carl was cheating on her with. Oh. Right. It's official! <laughs> So, what should we do now? Well, I don't think my dress fits the venue. So, there's only one obvious place to go. You are not buying a new dress, are you? Mm -mm. No. No. I don't like it. Gorgeous. Yes! I like it! Hell no. Yes, no. Oh, hell no. no. Take it off. Seriously? That's terrible. No! no. Um, Miss Holmes? Yes? I'm sorry, your credit card was declined. Oh. That's weird. Um, you know what? I have a brand new one. Shouldn't be a problem. Great. Thanks. Yes, I miss you so much. No, everything's been great. I mean, I had to make a few little changes, but we'll see. Okay, we're still on budget, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm gonna put all of the house tiles on the new visa, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and order it now. Okay. All right, babe, our house is gonna be so beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, hey, Lauren's here. I gotta go. Okay, love you. Bye. Oh, oh okay. Was that Garrett? Is he excited? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, you ready to go eat? Sophie went to get an umbrella. You know she hates the sun. Yeah, no, I, I changed my mind. I can't eat. I'm, I'm not hungry. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Hi. Yes, it's Vicky Holmes. I need to make a transfer from my savings into my credit card. Yeah. I miss you too. Cal. Let me call you back. Oh, I have some Oh, thank you. You're so happy. Yes, oh. yeah. You know how that is. You have kids? Yes, I do. I oh. have a six-month-old yeah. and a oh. two-year-old. Oh, oh, but I'm telling you, it's so hard getting your figure Wait. back. You know what? You do have something oh. in common. She has a six-month-old and this figure, and you have a six-month-old and you figure. I don't have a problem with my weight. 
I don't have any problems with my weight. I don't know what you're talking about. You look great, because oh, your you figure, your frame, you know, it's much yes. bigger than mine. I would look ridiculous no, carrying that much okay, weight. But so you look great. Let's toast, girl. Oh, let's, let's, let's get you a drink, and then we'll do a three-way toast. Mm -hmm. OK? All right. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Puerto Rico. Oh, oh, you too. Oh, yeah. Get, get oh. on. OK, I get it. The accounts aren't linked. All right, but well, can I make a payment? Yeah. <laughs> Good. What do you mean it won't register until tomorrow? I can't come to the bank. I'm in Puerto Rico. Well, what's the point of having an online banking if I can't do my banking online? Thanks for nothing. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh my God, Mickey! Ow, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. No, let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna. Kill Sophie. Oh. So, I saw Camille having drinks with Marie yesterday. So? So, so why is the wedding coordinator having drinks with one of us? She's being friendly? No, she's not. No, this, this is what I think. I think she's one of those girls that don't have a lot of friends, and so she's trying to infiltrate our clique. Our clique? Yes. You are jealous. I am not jealous. I'm not, no, she's a poser. A poser? Yes. Oh my gosh, Sophie, you breaking out the 80s terms? I'm just saying she's You're not. being ridiculous. No, I'm not. Yes. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Sophie, you bring it! Hello. Hi. <laughs> I miss you too. But you don't have to call me every hour. <laughs> okay, I like it. <laughs> oh, it would be fun if you were here. But we'll talk about that later. No, Cal, it was just sex. We are not getting back together. I told you I still don't trust you. Uh, I'll call you back. <sighs> hey, so um, I was gonna ask you a question about- Lauren, you can stop pretending. I know you heard me. Okay, so why didn't you tell me that? Because I didn't want to hear what you had to say because I'm still figuring it out. Sophie, what is there to figure out? He cheated on you. He is a liar and he cannot be trusted. People change, Lauren. No. People change. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They, do. they, they don't. And now you're all open and he's playing you. He's not playing me. He's not. I'm in control this time. No, you are in love with him, and he's gonna use that to his advantage, and then you're gonna come crying back to us. You don't know if that's gonna happen. And so what? So what if I do still care about him? He's my husband. He's your ex-husband. Sophie, you're naive. You have to move on. If he hurts you again, I'm not gonna be here to pick up the pieces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what, Sophie? Three things that cannot be hidden are the sun, the moon, and the truth. Hey, come on. Hey, what? Go back, go back. Just go back. Why are you going so fast? Slow down. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like those carnations. Um, get one of the roses. Camille, it's my wedding. I'll pick the flowers. All right. Camille! I'm ready to go. What? Is everything okay? No. What's going on? It's Lauren. Well, okay. Let's let me go. And she... What? She basically just called me stupid. And she's demanded that I stop seeing them. You slept with Kyle? <laughs> well, I for one am ecstatic that you are getting some. But you no, 
know that's dangerous territory. I know. But you know what? Don't stress it. Lauren has her own issues with men. We already know that, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just shocked that she's the one getting on you now and not you getting on her. Well, I, I think she might be jealous. Because if I get with Kyle, then she's going to be the only single one in the group. And nobody wants to be the single one in the group. Whoa, okay. Right, okay. You know what, why don't you just take a break, okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go get a real strong mojito. Good, I'll come join you. Okay, okay. Strong mojito. A strong mojito, I will join you shortly. Hey, how was it? Did it make your toes curl? I have a question for you. Are you seeing anybody? Because, I don't know, I just want to know. Because if we're going to be doing this thing that we're doing, this, this, whatever this thing is we're doing together, I just feel like I should be able to know if you're seeing anybody. Because, and it's not even a big deal. It's so, it's not even a big deal. It's like that. That's not a big deal. That's what this is. It's not a big deal. But, you know, I just feel like I should know if you're seeing somebody because I see men. I see a lot of men, of man right now. And I'm seeing a lot of this man. So there you have it. So see, that's why it's not a big deal. So just call me back. Just call me back and let me know. This is Sophie, by the way. Sophie. Just because you tried to manslaughter me, and then you chump me by speaking all this fluent Spanish, and then you call me fat. I mean, it just doesn't seem like something a proper wedding host would do. Are you just gonna get out the car like that? Oh, really? Okay, we're going like that? We're going like that? Huh? This is, this is, this is it? Come on! Wait, what? Marie? You just got... Mm. I know that having a new baby can very stressful. And you look tense right now. Mm. You should come and do some yoga with Lauren and me in the morning. Yoga? Wait, you're doing yoga with my Lauren? Yes, I have a master's in yoga therapy. Of course you do. We bonded. I hope you can join us. Come on. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Bye. This is really a beautiful place that you have. We don't own it, but my family has managed it for years, beginning with my grandmother. Well, I love it. There are so many amazing places here. I'd love to show you around. How long will you be here? I leave Saturday. Well, it's just Tuesday. We can get you into a lot of trouble in four days. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Antonio. What good is coming to Puerto Rico if you never see it? Come on. Dinner? Dancing? Okay. I'll go to dinner. But you know what? Can you stop looking at me? You're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, what? I need your help. We need guests. What are you talking about? 
Well, we have this fabulous wedding and this huge venue with no attendees. I need like 20, 30 people, maybe even 40, just in case a few don't show. Hi. Hi. Camille, Vicky doesn't want a bunch of strangers coming to her wedding. No, 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 not strangers. Seat fillers. Well, she told me to do what I had to do to make everything look great, right? So I arranged a little casting call and I need your help choosing. A casting call? Yes. Why isn't Vicky helping with all of this? Well, because she went to get a pedicure, please. Okay. Oh. I'll come with you. In case you need a translator. We will need a translator. Coming. Uh, can I see your happy face? Happy your sad face? What's the same face? You say it in Spanish. Um, tu cara feliz, feliz, feliz. Next. Gracias. Hi. Oh. Is she crying? No. Why is she crying? She's laughing. No, 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 no. She's crying. <laughs> She's crying. She's crying. No. Next. Oh, what? Oh, goodbye, Schwarzenegger. Goodbye. Is she single, babe? Bye. I'm not single. What? I mean, what was that? I don't know. Next. Oh, hey. He's making his nails. Bye-bye, Gracias. I don't care if she's marrying him. I will get her back if it's the last thing I do. Is that a knife? Oh, gosh. Next. Oh, she's perfect. She's perfect. Yes. Yeah, she's, she's somebody. Thank you. You're hired. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Next. Okay, wait a minute. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Next. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase su voluntad así en la tierra como en el cielo. Thank you, Father. Oh, oh a mime. Pop locking, Father? Bye now. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Oh. No. Next. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. You know what? Oh, did he just take it? What is he doing? Next. I'm, I'm so early for yoga. I tried to get Vicky to come with me, but she has to go pick up Garrett. No, Cal, I'm only here for intel. I'm telling you, there's something up with this girl. I mean, she has a degree in yoga. Who gets a degree in yoga? Somebody with no friends. Because friends don't let friends get degrees in yoga. Let me call you back. <laughs> so nobody told me that there were uniforms. Oh, morning, Sophie. Morning. <laughs> Sophie, what are you doing here? You hate yoga, and I thought you were mad at me. What? <laughs> morning. <laughs> Belly. You know I live for yoga. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I remember that. Yogis, right? I wanted to do something nice for your mom and your sister. I'm so happy you guys made it in safely. So what's on the agenda? Oh, well, remember I told you that Camille was doing a photo shoot for her magazine? Well, tonight we're going to do the interview. She's just going to ask us some questions about, you know, our relationship and the wedding. OK, sounds easy enough. And then I need to take you to see the new location for the wedding. New location? What happened to the fort? Babe, it was just a lot of wall and brick. It just didn't seem pretty enough for a wedding. But look at this place. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's, it's really nice, but it's not what we planned, babe. Let's just stick with the four. 
I already paid for it. You what? Why would you do that? Because I really, really liked it, and they had a cancellation, so I had to move quickly. Babe, it's still a historic place. It's just prettier. Right, but are you forgetting my parents got married at the fort? It's the whole purpose of getting the fort, the and whole purpose of bringing them out here? Yes, and I respect that, Mrs. Anderson. I really do. I just wanted this to be our own thing, you know? Something different. All right, well, it is what it is. Hope I like it, considering it's already paid for. Yeah. Tim, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I just landed. Yeah, yeah, we're good with the tiles. Mm, no, no, that's a new visa. What are you talking about? Okay, that's weird. Let me give you a call back. All right, babe. Yeah? Yeah, no, Teresa, it's gonna be an amazing shoot. For sure. Oh, you were able to get Sam to come down and shoot the wedding. Perfect. Love his work. Can oh, yeah, I'll send you... I'll send you a few shots of the new location right now. Okay, bye-bye. Yes? Uh, look, I know we have the photo shoot tomorrow for the wedding, but isn't it bad luck for Garrett to see Vicky in her wedding dress before the wedding? No, nope, Sophie, honey, people don't go by that anymore. They take their pictures before the wedding so that their guests don't have to wait. All right, well, if anything bad happens, don't say I didn't warn you. Whoa. I saw my phone over here Sophie, on the Sophie, Who moved, who moved my phone? Sophie. Calm down. Hello. <laughs> I said it. No, but what if the same thing happens again? That's what I'm scared of. Cal, let me call you back. Hi, Marie. How are you? I'm good. Great workout this morning. Yes, it was. And I'm on my way to workout number two. That's right. I'm a two-timer. <laughs> Oh, no, not two-timer as in relationships. No, I would never do that. My husband did do that, and it was horrible. But why am I telling you that? Don't scratch it. <laughs> Sophie, I would love to stay and listen to your sad story, but I'm actually meeting with Vicky and Garrett for dinner. Uh, actually, it's not a sad story. You know, all love stories have their challenges. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you never seen The Notebook? Mm -hmm. Or The Titanic? Yeah. Or The Romeo and the Juliet? People died in those stories. But oh, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. Did you say you were having dinner with my Vicky? Yes. Oh. They canceled. They did? No, yeah. they didn't. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Vicky's not feeling well. So she's lying down, and they actually sent me to tell you that they were canceling. Why didn't she just call me? Well, because she's sick. Well, then I have to go and check up on her. No, you don't, because I already did that. She's fine. Yeah. Well, then I guess that wraps up my day early. Yep. So what are you going to do now? You're going to go hang with your own friends? I work a lot. I don't really have lots of friends. Just as I suspected. Well, I do. And me and my friends, we've been friends for a very long time. And it is going to take more than a pretty face and highlighted hair and blue dresses and all of this to come between us. OK. Yep, just thought you should know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got it. That's all? For now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> love Jones! Nobody died in Love Jones. You know, I think maybe we should get married with shades on. I can't believe I'm getting married with a black eye. Yeah, I can't believe a lot of stuff going on right now. How long are you going to be mad? I'm not mad. Disappointed. Same thing. 
You know, if you want, I can do the interview by myself. You can go back to the hotel. Is that what you want me to do? No. I want you to forgive me so we can sit here like a couple that's getting married in two days. Don't worry, I'm not gonna mess up your interview. Babe, it's our interview. Oh, it's ours now. Yeah. Oh, that's convenient. Hey guys, I'm so sorry I'm late. Hi, Hi. Right. How was your flight? Great. How are you? Good. Did Marie change her mind about joining us? I guess. All right. Well, I think we should just go ahead and dig right in. Okay. Now I know how you two met, but I actually need to record it for my article. Actually, Garrett, I don't know your side of the story, so why don't you tell me what made you fall for Vicky? Well. She's gorgeous. So, if I'm gonna keep it real, that was the first thing. And uh, I think I fell for her when she tried to sell me a house. Totally not my style, but she was so convincing. Started to make me doubt my own taste. I actually thought that this person might know me better than I know myself. She intrigued me. And he still didn't buy that house. It was out of my price range. Right. But <laughs> look at us now. I mean, we're building our own home, so it all worked out. You know, you two seem very different. Yeah, we are. But that's what makes it work. I mean, Garrett is a bit of a... He's practical. And I'm more of a dreamer. We balance each other out. And his confidence is uh, sexy. That it is. Sex confidence is... Very sexy. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, what are some of the things that the two of you are looking for in uh, marriage? Honest Did you communication. <laughs> I thought you meant what do we want? You know, like a house, uh, a baby, a pet. Well, I, I was actually talking about things that are important in marriage. Right. Um, communication. I mean, that goes without saying. Mm -hmm. It's right up there with support and trust. I just thought you meant something. Never mind. Oh, just, whatever. Yeah. Let's just move on. So you guys are adopting. Mm -hmm. Boy or girl. A oh, girl. Boy. Wow, we just really hope to have a healthy baby. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna find out pretty soon. Oh good. Mm -hmm. So whose idea was it to adopt? Both of us. <laughs> we got that one right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's not a test. We're just talking. I know, but we finally said the same thing at the same time. Just go on. Oh, okay. So tell me about this trip. Oh, man, it was amazing. I went to six countries in three months. I did a 30-day cleanse, no meat, no dairy, no alcohol. I learned to chant. I worked on my meditation and my yoga. I could go on and on. Sounds life-changing. You know, it just, it changed my perspective on things. Like? You know, like most of the stuff we worry about, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I completely agree. I live a very simple life here. I help my mother at the villa. My family has a farm. We work hard, but we play hard. But I don't have a lot of time for complications. I just enjoy all of this beauty. That's it. I understand. I mean, the fewer the distractions, the higher the quality of life. Exactly. Antonio, you are gorgeous and this is magnificent and the old me she would have been all over this but the new me is kind of celibate okay not kind of I am I am celibate really yeah it's just my last relationship was just really unhealthy and so I'm taking a break so when do you think you will be off this break Tonight. <laughs> I remember when you told us about 
called Meaty Garrett. You're like, you guys, I met someone. He's really regular, but he's got something. Oh, so funny. You call me regular? No, I didn't say regular. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Well, what I meant was, you're different from all the flashy guys that I usually date. So different. And that's a good thing. For sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, what were you guys first date? <gasps> we went fishing. Garrett likes to fish. Uh -huh. He took me on a boat, and we talked for hours. Aww. I got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Mm. Caught a few fish. Actually, I caught more than you did. If it wasn't a competition. But in all fairness, I I really think that was the moment I knew she was the one. Hmm. And now we're having a beautiful wedding. That was supposed to be a small ceremony. It is a small ceremony. Do a prayer, say vows. <gasps> oh, Vicky, did you ever finish yours? Because my offer to write them is still on the table. Wait, you want to let her write your vows? No, <laughs> I specifically said no. Have you written them yet? I started. Um, what else can we talk about? Um, okay. Uh, most of our readers are women over 40 who feel they have to settle to find someone. Did you feel that way? No. I mean, not that I ever want to be alone. Uh, but I would never settle. I mean, I would rather die than... Not die. Can we talk about the wedding? Hello? I'm back. How was your date with Antonio? Muy bueno. It's really good. Thanks. Sophie, I'm just the jealous single girl in the group. Oh, Lauren. Lauren! Lauren! Lauren, come back! You haven't talked since we had dinner. Not sure what to say. If you're mad about the wedding stuff, just say so. I'm mad about the wedding stuff. No, don't say that. <laughs> Garrett, what's wrong with me wanting to have a fabulous wedding? All of a sudden, it's all about this fabulous wedding. Vicki, I was honest with you about what I want and what I can provide. And now it just seems like it's not enough. Every woman wants an incredible wedding, Garrett. You told me every woman wants to find a good man. And what's wrong with wanting both? Nothing. I just want to know which one is more important. You're actually asking me that? Yeah, apparently I am. I mean, you know, they're cute. I just think we should have got something a little sexier and less hippie. Oh, I like it. I think it's pretty. And we look like a goddess. Mm, I guess. Where is Lauren? She's still upset, so she drove separately. <gasps> oh my god! I don't have any concealer! I can't take wedding photos looking like this! Somebody's gotta go to the store! I told you, the bad luck is already starting. Hit me one more time. Well, hi, girls! 
Well, now that's the dress we need to be wearing. That's cute. Are you kidding me? You think, she, why does she have on the same color as us? I know she does not think she's a bridesmaid. Stalker. Oh my God, what happened? Oh, Garrett didn't like all the changes she was making, so he socked her in the eye. Camille, why would you say that? That's not what happened. Okay, anyway, it's none of my business. Really? Everything else has been. Sophie hit me in the eye with her umbrella. <gasps> no. Yes. By accident. Okay, what do you need me to do? Okay, can you get me more? Of course. Please. Why did you say that Garrett hit her? What if she believes you? Why would she believe that? Garrett is sweet as pie. Vicky. Hey, babe. I just had a conversation with Antonio. Did you actually spend $15,000 to rent this place knowing we could have kept it at the fort? Um, I think you should just calm down. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm... And how much did you cost? Okay, babe, this is our wedding host at no cost. The $15,000 includes the reception. Reception? Now a reception? It's too much, Vic. I'm trying really hard to be cool with all this, but you're out of control. Okay, Marie, could you please get the Thanks. So come on, come clean. How much have you spent without my permission? What? You heard me. How much have you spent without my permission? Your permission. Without considering me, Vic. You know what I meant. You said exactly what you meant. Victoria, come here. Vicky! Vic! And what are you looking at me like that for? You know she's wrong. Go figure her out. You know, I think I can fix this. Um, if the, so, um, okay. Yes, so. Hi. Yes, I'm with them. Things are not going that well. I really hate to say this, but I'm not sure there's going to be a wedding. No, the couple's fighting, her friends are acting very weird. Well, one in particular. I, I'm getting the feeling that all of this has uh, just been for a photo shoot or something. Yeah. Yes, of course I'm going to stay in here. It's my job, but I, I really hate to see things go wrong. Okay. Yes, I'll keep you posted. Okay, bye. All right, one second. Just hold your britches. Perfect. And... Okay, all right, let's go. Come on in. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings and undying grace. We are especially thankful, Lord, for this food and for the family and all who are here gathered on Vicki and Garrett's special day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Sorry I'm late. I had a flat tire. It's like if someone let the air out. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you. Hi. Um, I would like to give a toast. Oh. Great. Yes. A toast to unconditional love. The kind of love that has no limitations. The kind of love that has no bounds. But some people don't understand that kind of love. Some people want to make you feel shameful about having that kind of love. But you ignore those people. You ignore them because they have a warped concept of what unconditional love is because of their own warped experience with said unconditional love. Okay. Vicki and Garrett, congratulations guys, I love you. Unconditional love. Hmm. It's a beautiful thing. But you know what it requires? It requires honesty between two people. People who love you, they welcome the truth. They actually appreciate transparency. They don't mistake it for personal gain. That is not unconditional love. 
That is BS. Cheers. But I am that... super ecstatic to be here covering your wedding for my magazine. I gotta tell you, Vicki Garrett, you know, just the truth of your love, the inspiration, uh, your example has, has inspired me to write a book. A book about unconditional love. Are you okay? <coughs> What's in this dip? Shellfish. Oh my god, I forgot. Jesus. Why is there shellfish? You know Regina's allergic. I forgot, I just ordered a little shellfish. Change the entire menu? I, I have I, an EpiPen in my car. Of course she has. Oh, of course she has. Why does she need an EpiPen? I just thought it would be pretty in pictures, and who doesn't love fish? Okay, I'm done. No, maybe that's it. There's no more changes. That's it. We're not honoring my parents. God only knows if you're ever going to write your vows, and now you nearly killed my sister. You guys, this isn't just about you. That's clear. Um, you guys, you want to hear this? And it's not even about us anymore. I don't know who you are. This wedding is off. Garrett, Marie is with the adoption agency. She's not a wedding host. What? She's right. I don't get it. We are very careful about the homes we place our children in. And when you first filed, you weren't engaged. And well, we have a lot of people that fake relationships, weddings, even marriages just to get children. And I know this seems like a lot, but we wanted to make sure that your relationship with Mr. Anderson was not a charade. And I'm glad we did, because we're looking for homes with loving partners, selfless people, and a community filled with loving friends who can help you to raise your child. Unfortunately, this kind of dysfunction is certainly not a home in which we would place a child. I'll have to deny you, and I'm sorry, I, I really am. Uh, Marie, Marie, no. Marie, 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 Marie. Listen, please, please, just hear me out. Hey, any word from Vicky yet? No. She's still not picking up her cell phone, and no one is answering in Garrett's room. Right, well, she couldn't have gone far because her purse is still here. My God, there is no loyalty in this business. I just called my boss to tell her I might have to change my story. She said, well, I might have to give the opportunity to another writer. Okay, Camille. Vicky is missing, and all you're worried about is your article? Well, that article was supposed to get me my dream job, Lauren. Okay. But a selfish heart can only yield sour fruit. Okay, you know what, little Buddha? She made those decisions, okay? Yes, so whatever sour... But you encouraged her the entire time. The okay, venue's so too rocky, so the dress is hey, rocky. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Look, you guys, it's all of our fault. All of us. We have been the worst bridesmaids ever. Listen, you pressured her into making those changes. You did, Camille. Own up to it. You did. And you... I didn't mean that stuff I said on the video. You know I would never hurt your feelings, Lauren. You know Honey, I would. it's not about my feelings, okay? And I'm not jealous. I was hurt because you thought I was trying to further my own agenda. I'm just trying to protect you. I know. I know you love me. Here, come on. Mm, we're making up. Ow! Ow. See there? Come on. Let's go find Vicky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get her. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have shoes. Oh, neither do I. Hold on. I messed up Rafi. Are you, uh, portfo... No. This is pointless. She could be anywhere. Know, the wedding is today. I'm sure the wedding is on. I found her. Right? Oh, yeah, let's oh go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
about you. Why are you wearing your dress? No refunds. I'm gonna wear this dress whether I'm getting married or not. Well, it doesn't matter as long as you're safe. <sighs> Fine. You know, I was having a good old time until your boyfriend showed up and ruined it. Have you heard from Garrett? No. But, look, I finally wrote my vows. Oh, good. So, Vicky, maybe if you just read these to him, he'll... Sophie, he doesn't want to hear them. He doesn't want to marry me. I messed up. Um, Vicky, I'm so sorry about all this. You know, this. even though it's partially your fault, Camille, I'm not blaming you. We're both selfish, inconsiderate adults. You are. And Marie was right. I'm not ready to be a mom. No, no, don't say that. No, you know, she doesn't even know you. This kind of dysfunctional, whatever. She doesn't even know what kind of dysfunctional we are. You know what? I could really just kick her Puerto Rican ass right now. Don't go, don't go. No! But you know what? Sophie has a point. I mean, she can't just decide your future based on one weekend. Guys, just stop, okay? Stop. I was supposed to change. But I didn't. But Vicki, you're trying. And everything begins with a first step. God, and the thing is, I don't even want to be that girl anymore. You know, there's more to life than just showing off and looking good and acting like you don't care what people think. I cannot do bad all by myself. I want to do bad with Kevin. Oh, honey. We love you so much. We love you, Vicky. It's okay, honey. You know what? No. No, 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 no. No, it's not going down like this. Ladies, what are we, a bunch of whiny babies? Or are we determined women? Determined women. So does that mean that we what? We run at the first sign of trouble? No. no. Do we let other people decide our future? No. No. That's right. We don't. We do not do that. I did not spend months on a mountaintop praying and eating fruits and berries and locking up my goodies so that we would all go down in a ball of flames. I did that so that today we would be victorious. Yes! yes. yes. This is Puerto Rico! Yes. yes! Okay, so listen, you two, Go find Garrett, okay. all right? And we, we gonna deal with Miss, uh, Penelope Gross! Yeah! I'm coming back for you. Hi. By any chance, has Garrett Anderson checked out yet? I'll check. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No, ma'am, he hasn't. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Teresa. Hi. Uh, not very well, actually. The thing is, the wedding might not be happening. Oh, another wedding. Okay, great. In D.C.? Well... Mm, that would mean I'd have to leave tonight. Of course I appreciate it, yes. I, and, and I understand the show must go on. Yeah, deadlines and... Yes, I, I... No problem. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. One more question. What's the last shuttle uh, to the airport tonight? Uh, that will be 8 o'clock, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Garrett, baby, it's me. Call me back. Anderson, we need to talk. Hi. All right, just listen to me, Marie, if that's your real name, okay? I have text messages from Vicky from last year telling us how much she is in love with yeah. Garrett. And, and she and Garrett, they babysit my baby all the time just because yes. they're trying to get used to handling a baby. Yeah. It's so cute. <gasps> what? I look don't need to see. Just look at the picture. Yes, you I do. Don't. Look at the picture. No, look, look at how in love they are. Look no. at it right now. Yeah. got here, you completely flipped the script. Who was that person? Me! It's, it's all me! me. The, the impractical, impractical unpredictable, unpredictable, competitive, selfish, selfish girl who's still, still trying and learning about love. love. And you expect me to just be patient? Yes, love is patient. patient. Love, love is kind. I'm, I'm not going to give up. up. I'm, I'm going to fight for, for us. us. Because, well, I refuse to lose, especially when it's something that I've wanted all my life. Sorry. Can't do this. Where are you going? You said you couldn't do this, and I'm standing here getting wet. Yeah. I said I can't do this. I meant yelling over the water. I need to do this. By the power invested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> hey. For Garrett, he has no idea what he's getting himself into. It's windy. Mm -hmm. Big softy. We did it! <laughs> Who are all these people? I think Antonio said they followed him here from the villa, right, Lauren? Speaking of Antonio, what's up? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna stick around a little longer to find out. Oh. Oh. Are you gonna have sex with him? Sophie. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 So we'll let you guys talk. Very nice ceremony. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. 
We didn't expect you here. Let's just say that two little birdies gave a very convincing case, and they told me that if I showed up today, I will see a love that couldn't be denied. And? And a child would be lucky to be surrounded by so much love. You and Mr. Anderson will make wonderful parents. So, I'll let Mrs. Boone know that you've been approved. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, looks like we have something new to celebrate. Yes, and we gotta go shopping. I mean, we don't have a crib, the house isn't ready. Sophie says I need a swing, but there's so much to do. Babe. What? All you need to do is be Mrs. Anderson. I am. And dance with me, come on. <gasps> After all of the crazy, I still ended up with the wedding of my dreams. It wasn't glamorous or ravishing, but it was perfect because it was real. Camille got her article and her job. I got my man and my bundle of joy is on the way. Sophie's giving it one more try. And Lauren, <sighs> let's just say everyone was indeed victorious. <sighs> Happily ever afters are very hard to predict. But as Lauren says, a jug feels drop by drop. So I guess that makes us all a happily ever after in progress.